Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today we got an edition of Tom's Toolbox, and the reason I know that is because it says it on the sign right there. And I'm gonna show you how to install Lovejoy's new jaw in shear coupling. Now, you may remember from previous how-to and Tom's Toolbox videos that a coupling's basic function is to connect two shafts while protecting the equipment around it. See the two shafts? We've got our equipment around here. Now the standard jaw coupling consists of three parts. You got two metal hubs and one elastomeric or rubber insert, usually referred to as the spider. Now because of the harsh conditions in which the spider operates, it needs to be changed periodically. And this is where things can get a little tricky. You see, the process of axially installing a new spider can take upwards of an hour and likely involve a maintenance crew and who knows what. And this is gonna cost your company thousands of dollars in downtime. Nobody likes that. Now, this is where the Lovejoy Jaw In Shear Coupling, or JIS for short, comes in handy. You see, the JIS coupling is similar to the standard jaw coupling in the fact that it has two standard Lovejoy hubs. But, instead of a rubber spider, it has a urethane elastomer spider that is radially removable and can simply be unwrapped from the hubs and replaced by a new wraparound spider, which is then locked in place by a stainless steel retaining ring. The JIS is awesome because you can use the same Lovejoy hubs that you're already using. The only thing you're replacing is the rubber spider with the urethane spider, which is better than the rubber spider, which has greater torque carrying capacity and double the amount of angular misalignment capabilities of the rubber spider. Personally, I save the rubber spider and put it under my wife's pillow. It scares the crap out of her. <laughs> it's hilarious. All right, now I'm gonna test this out and show you how easy it is to install. But as you can see, I'm already starting to put on my PPE because that's the proper way to do it. You wanna make sure you have the appropriate PPE for whatever the job calls for. Me, safety glasses and gloves. We're ready to go. All right, now get the stopwatch ready because this is not gonna take long. Let's say uh, we've shut down the line. For whatever reason, doesn't really matter. Ready, set, go. What we do is we slide the retaining ring here off. It's real simple. We're gonna take our elastomeric ring off. There we go, boom, we get rid of that. We don't need it. That's worn. Now we're gonna put on the replacement. Bum, bum, bum. Here we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the retaining ring back on. Boom, lock it into place. That's how easy this is. You just gotta make sure that the ring locks and you're good to go. The line is up and running again in as little as five to 10 minutes. Now the five to 10 minutes is how long it takes us to get from the maintenance shed over to retain this because obviously this wasn't five to 10 minutes. Didn't have the need for a maintenance crew. Uh-uh, significantly less time than an hour, which is huge savings. I mean, I'm talking huge savings, more than, one, maybe you need to change out, that's okay. I could probably have done 10 of these in 10 minutes. That's how simple this is. That's gonna do it for this edition of Tom's Toolbox. See, when it comes to JIS, we're talking about efficiency improving, money saving coupling. It's absolutely incredible. Why would you have anything else? If you have any questions about anything you saw here today, please contact the Motion Industries branch location nearest you, talk to the representative. They're gonna help you out. Or you can call me because I know how to do it now, right? Also, as you saw, we had on the appropriate PPE. You wanna make sure you do the same thing? Had on gloves and glasses. It's whatever the job calls for. It may be something different. Just make sure that you're doing it right because safety is always priority number one. Number two, check out more Motion Industries MI How To videos or more Tom's Toolbox videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching. Good stuff.